a reminder that uh, responsible people do carry firearms at this time. Fort Fest dot party. It's gonna be a party. So I'm on my way to do something that you would you would never think would be a big enough deal to be in the papers, but the fact that I'm walking to an intersection and about to hold a sign by myself was is apparently uh, close enough to being an act of civil disobedience that a that a newspaper is coming to take my picture. At least they say they are. I sent out a news release a couple of days ago, well, I guess it would have been about four days ago, just indicating that I might do this, and that got me press coverage. Two different publications, but uh, I had to send out uh, another news release saying that, uh, that I really was going to need to do it today, because the governor's order, or, uh, ordering a shelter in place, which occurred around March 26th, I think, uh, is sufi sufficiently ba vague uh, <laughs> sufficiently vague that um, uh, a person could conceivably be arrested for uh, uh, for going out and holding a sign at an intersection. It doesn't say you can't, but it's just so long uh, and it's not keyword searchable, the copy I found, uh, and after reading it for an excruciatingly long period of time, I really couldn't determine whether I needed to keep my promise and do a demonstration because now demonstrations are potentially restricted, or uh, whether I could just uh, wait and blow it off and do it later or something along those lines. But it seems like the safe thing to do is just to go ahead and demonstrate because I've said I would. So uh, here I am. Here we are. And uh, I have been asking all New Hampshireites to do something similar. Uh, get out there and safely demonstrate uh, without coming within six feet of anyone uh, or, or necessarily even assembling. There are plenty of things you can do that, that violate the, uh, the government's restrictions uh, that don't endanger anyone. So if you want to do civil disobedience, I don't know that assembling is really necessary. That, of course, does not mean I want taxpayer money used to stop assemblies. I don't. So while I've been here, a photographer from the Keen Sentinel has dropped by to take my picture. Like I said, I, it's, it's just amazing. It was like I was telling him, it's amazing that uh, just something this simple, uh, an inglorious one-man protest would uh, be news enough to, to draw a cameraman from the mainstream press, but these are weird times. Thanks for coming by. Yeah. Uh, so like I said, thanks for being on the job. Yeah, we're, I guess the newspapers are considered essential workers, so. Yeah. Traffic in New Hampshire has a, a normal feel to it. Not harried, but not suppressed, even after the stay at home thingy. Order or not order, whatever it is. I was telling the uh, the Keen Sentinel reporter that uh, you know I I have mixed feelings about mixing First and Second Amendments, uh, but I think now is a good time to be providing that message, a reminder that uh, responsible people do carry firearms at this time. My neighborhood is carrying firearms. You've probably heard of Porkfest, but have you heard of Forkfest? It's a decentralized alternative. It's also at Rogers Campground at a slightly different time. You don't even need a ticket. Visit 
Fort Fest dot party. It's gonna be a party.